Okay, for our next speaker, we have uh, Pavel, who is going to be talking to us today about API for multi-cloud management platforms. So, Pavel, hi, how are you? Hello, good, good. Excellent. Thank you Excellent. very much. Can you hear me well? Yes, yes, we can hear you well. I just wait for your slides to come on the screen, check they're okay, and then you're off. Yes, Perfect. you look very good. So, have a good presentation. Okay, so thank you very much. Uh, thank you for that opportunity to present uh, uh, on the on the Happy Days um, Helsinki. Unfortunately, virtually, but let's hope that soon it would be possible to 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 uh, come back to the normal way of the presenting. Uh, today, I want to tell a little bit about the API for the multi-cloud, about the Melodic project, which is the multi-cloud management um, platform. Uh, I personally involved in that project uh, as, a, as a cloud architect and also in the, in the uh, next project Morphemic and the idea of the project is to create the multi-cloud management platform uh, which will be able to optimize deployment and automatically deploy uh, application into the different cloud providers and uh, the most important thing is that this platform is fully open source can be download use and also it is a very good example at least in my humble opinion uh, how to use the, the, the multi-cloud API, how to design the application for the multi-cloud, what is the architecture, how it should work, and, um, uh, and so on. Uh, so, but uh, before I go to the API, I will briefly tell you uh, some words about the melodic. So, uh, why we decide to create that platform? Yeah, the first reason is that probably it is the simplest and the easiest way to the, to use the multi-cloud approach and multi-cloud models. It allows for the unified way to deploy virtual machines, containers, serverless, big data frameworks to different cloud providers and more and more services um, is coming. The deployment is fully automatic and what is more and what is very unique, I will tell a bit more about that is uh, automatic optimization of the cloud resources. So just simply select the best cloud provider and the best set of the resources to, uh, to deploy. Uh, the question is, what is this best deployment? So how we can select the best set of the, uh, of the resources to run our application? The first thing is so that we know uh, the, the, the state of our application. So we need to collect metrics of the running application metrics are the usage of the CPU and uh, memory and other technical metrics, but also the business metrics like average response time to the user or average user handling time or average job processing and so on. Uh, based on that metrics, we introduced the unique um, concept of the utility for the particular application. So thanks to that, thanks to that utility function, we are able to measure uh, how good the current deployment is for the given application. And we can focus on the business value. Yeah, So uh, we are maybe not interested in uh, technical details, but uh, how this application works for the end users and what is the perception of the end users. Users. Of course, this perception and ergonomic approach needs to be quantified. So, uh, so, so, so we quantify that uh, that values, uh, and based on that, we uh, are doing the optimization. And optimization is usually a trade-off before a different uh, values like cost, performance, availability. Uh, of course, if we only want to optimize one uh, value like uh, performance, then we just simply put as much resources as possible. And then we will for sure have 
probably have the biggest performance. And the same goes for cost. If we want to minimize the cost, we just simply do not deploy our application and the cost will be zero. Yeah, but in real life, it is always the trade-off between different elements. Uh, very briefly, how Melodic is uh, working. Um, let's start with the full picture. Uh, we need to prepare the, 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 the model of the application. It is done manually in the language called Camel, Cloud Application Modeling and Execution Language. Then we need to set initial parameters of the application. Based on the initial parameters, the Melodic is optimizing initial deployment and deploy uh, application to the selected cloud providers. And uh, from that point, the metric collection is started. So Melodic is continuously collect uh, metrics and based on the values of the metrics, Melodic is deciding if the uh, new set of the resources this new solution should be found or uh, or not. Yeah? And uh, uh, if the new solution is found, so we have a better solution than currently deployed, uh, the Melodic is automatically redeploy, reconfigure application in the, in the cloud. So thanks to that, we are sure that we are using the uh, most optimal or most optimal able to find set of the resources for, for our application. And to do this automatically, we are using multi-cloud uh, and uh, uh, multi-cloud API and the architecture of the Melodic is uh, done and designed in that way to fully support that uh, that multi-cloud approach. So we have a pure microservice architecture with some concept, which are probably not new, but uh, uh, we found them uh, very useful for that. Yeah? So uh, we have uh, multiple microservices. Each microservice has its own, its own domain as it's responsible for the given task. Uh, and we have a control plane. In our case, we are using the ESP Enterprise Server as the, uh, uh, service bus. I mean, we are using MuleSoft ESB. I will show uh, later why we have chosen that um, MuleSoft ESB. And we are using uh, BPM process to orchestrate invocation of each of the microservices. We are using Camunda as a BPM engine and we are uh, using this process to orchestrate the invocation of the microservices. And the last uh, thing is that we also have a separate monitoring plane, which allow us for uh, sending the metrics value and monitoring um, values to the respective uh, micro microservices. Uh, we decide to have these two planes, monitoring and control planes, I, as they have different requirements for the uh, performance, number of the messages, and also support for transactions and, uh, and so on. And thanks to the usage of the BPM process for coordinating invocation of the microservices, we are able to quite flexible manage this invocation and to, to create our own processes. Uh, for the integration method, we have started with the evaluation of these four presented here, different uh, integration methods, so point-to-point, Q-based, ESB integration, and the last one, ESB with the BPM integration. Uh, we have um, uh, reviewed uh, the, our requirements against each of these methods, and finally, we have calculated which method in our case uh, uh, is the best. So the process of selecting the, the, the best integrated uh, methods has been ordered and yeah, could be used also for, uh, for another systems and another approaches. Uh, and after selecting the, the, the right methods, so we selected ESB with the BPM engines. Uh, we uh, reviewed uh, and evaluated the existing tools and frameworks for that uh, uh, 
uh, for that uh, uh, purpose, yeah, and we have uh, evaluated three different ESP solutions and uh, for four different um, four different uh, uh, BPM engines, and finally we decide to 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 use. Uh, of course, we we uh, review evaluate them against the, the the requirements and decide to I'm sorry decide to select uh, new ESB as a ESB solution and uh, as a BPM engine Camunda engine. Uh, all of this process is, is documented, so if you are interested, more information can be found on the Melodic website. Uh, the Melodic website and uh, uh, and uh, yeah, the, the details and documentation is, is presented there. Uh, and now I want to to show two use case applications so why we have created that optimization platform why we decide to to, to use the multi-cloud api and multi-cloud approaches uh, and uh, yeah the first um, the first uh, use case is a real customer which is using uh, melodic multi-cloud optimization for real business calls it is the ai investments company Company. It is the Polish company which uh, create the software to optimize uh, investments portfolio uh, using advanced uh, time series forecasting and optimization methods and uh, uh, and uh, to 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 optimize the, the investments portfolio in that way. And typical business goal for the investments is to train some numbers let's say 50 uh, predictions models in a given time frame like one hour using of course as minimal resources as possible uh, and uh, AI investments has its own on-premises resources uh, its own um, architecture infrastructure so initially the training starts on that uh, that infrastructure uh, but usually this infrastructure is not enough to, to finish the training in a given um, time constraint. So Melodic automatically adds new resources and monitors uh, what is the expected time to finish uh, the, the, the processing. Yeah. Uh, so new resources are added and after the added new resources the estimated time is in the deadline so the uh, training is finished uh, the results are stored and the cloud resources are removed to to save the cost so as you can see it's a very very simple use case but it is a very beneficial yeah the, the first benefit is effective optimization of resources so we are using the, the most effective set of the resources uh, for the AI investment it is also well chosen scaling of machine learning training so we have the framework for scaling and scale out the machine learning trainings. Uh, we can optimize the work efficiency of the application uh, in uh, relatively to the, to the budget available and planned, and planned. And also, last but not least, is the increased re reability of the application. Yeah? Because in case of the failure of the um, on premises infrastructure or, or the failure of one of the cloud provider, Melodic automatically deploy the, the, the workers to train in the other location to achieve the, um, the high availability. Of course, the, the cost will be higher, but uh, the application will work. And in numbers, yeah, uh, AI investments saved more or less of over 150,000 US dollars in the three years pay period, comparing the optimal automatically managed solution against the cloud only solution, this one, and uh, on premises only solution. Uh, so, so, so this one, yeah, so as you can see, the, the dynamic optimization 
and use the cloud for for handling the peaks of the workload uh, is better than using the cloud only and better than having the oversized uh, on-premises architecture it's also quite obvious but here we have the the concrete numbers how much um, you can save using that approach and very briefly about the second uh, use case application it is used by one of the polish university to process genome data and especially to com compare um, personal genome data to the reference genome data to uh, find the, the the mutation and again a researcher in the in the university is starting the processing data and started with the infrastructure of the university but usually it's not enough so new resources are added melodic is constantly monitoring the estimated time to finish the application add new resources yeah and finally if the, the estimated time is the lower than the constraint the, the resources are kept the data are uh, processed stored in the s3 and finally, the, uh, the cloud resources are removed. And uh, as I said uh, previously, the Melodic is fully open source. So you can go to the Melodic cloud page, download Melodic, use Melodic, and even more, you can contribute to Melodic as it is the open source project. Uh, uh, all open source developers are welcome. Uh, currently, Melodic is uh, under the, the further development. There are new features added within the project uh, called Morphemic, uh, which is focusing on proactive adaptations so forecasting of the future um, uh, workload and trying to, to determine that. Uh, and also, uh, you can visit the, the, the Melodic website, Facebook, LinkedIn. LinkedIn the, the, the project is very active on, uh, on LinkedIn to get the, the, the latest information about that. And we have a lot, a lot of the details and um, uh, documentation, webinars uh, recorded. So. Uh, I'm sure that uh, you can find all answers uh, there. And of course, you can contact me directly as well. Uh, so that's all from my side. Thank you very much for the attention. I'm not sure if there are some questions. Hi, Pavel. Thanks very much. That was a very interesting talk. And uh, yes, we, we do have a question in, in the chat. Um, I'll just pose one my, myself first, and that's... Um, when we when when you talk to organizations about this multi-cloud um, strategy do you find their motivations are more about performance or is it more about cost saving uh, yeah the initial motivation was the the cost side yeah so awesome. to optimize the cost usage especially that the differences in prices for the certain services and resources between the cloud providers are let's say significant yeah so so it was the initial motivation uh, but within the project uh, i think the performance and availability is very important yeah because in case of the um, cloud providers outage uh, or or some failures it is very use uh, very easy to to move to another cloud providers or to another region or to deploy on the on-premises architecture using that tool like Melodic. Uh, so that started to become even more important than cost savings. Okay, so as so we had a, a question from, I think uh, it's Jackie, um, what about the data mapping or transformation amongst different API services? Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, it is the, the the say key of the or core of the melodic features. Yeah, so we have our unified model uh, of the cloud resources. It is based on this camel language, and melodic transforms this model to the uh, different API invocations. Yeah, so you can consider that we have some kind of the canonical um, uh, data 
data model and uh, which is transformed uh, uh, by melodic to certain API invocation. And that's that's a good question because it's a core of our project or one of the most important element of our project is that transformation. Okay, lovely. Well, um, thank you very much, Pavel. That was a very interesting talk. And